Rosemary called me 20 some years ago to, to come and she that's when the school was very tiny it was the first graduating class she said would you come in and be a mentor for for our students and I think there was like 10 kids or something graduating and and I love the spirit here and it's always been just better and better every time I come and we do amazing shows now and I, I can't do it every year because it takes quite a bit of my time but I try to do it every year or two years and uh, it's just I'm, I'm, I learn so much myself from from the kids because they do things just unconsciously and beautifully you just look at it and you go how did they think of this and they don't know how they thought of it you see that's that's the beauty of it all is is that these kids are all they're just brand new and they're just waiting to burst open and uh, the, the creativity is amazing You know, don't don't come into this thinking it's gla glamorous. Being a designer is not a glamorous profession. It's a hard, hard profession, and, and you work very hard if you're going to do a good job. And um, you know, you can be pretentious and all of that, but you better do a good job and, and design beautiful clothes. Otherwise, you know, you'll be doing something you don't really want to do. Well, my biggest advice really always is to go try to work with somebody that you really admire or you like their product so you can learn from them uh, about mistakes, about what works, what doesn't work, um, and watch them. You know, that's the whole point is watch, learn. You might be a better designer than they are, but you don't know all the ins and outs. So that's where you really learn. You know, you learn what not to do.